Welcome back, my friends. I'm sure many of you, this will not be the first time you have seen or heard about this recent footage that has been caught on the Lasco C3 camera as what seemingly looked like some sort of beam going through our sun, then causing a CME. Now, that is the least of our worries when it comes to this particular clip because what happens after that is something that not many people have ever seen nor can explain. And when I say that, I mean that some of the biggest astronomical and space experts out there cannot seem to figure out what this object is that is making its way towards the sun and then makes a complete u-turn then launches away at an incredible speed I am now repeating this in real time so you can actually see and visualize that this thing is approaching the sun before turning away. Now, many of us have seen sun diving comets that go towards the sun, but they always wrap around the sun and either get destroyed in the process by the sun's heat and in rare occasions can make it out the other side. But this is not the case. This thing is approaching and then turning away from the sun, which again, as I said, from research I've done so far and listening to some of the biggest channels and voices out there that study this stuff simply just don't understand what is going on here. Some even saying that this is an actual craft or object, clearly some sort of object to have been captured on this camera to begin with, but the movements and the drastic change in direction and the speed at which it leaves has to make you wonder what exactly is this thing. Now what I would like to do is go back to that beam that seemingly, and I mean seemingly, I'm not saying this actually took place, but this beam looks as if it causes a CME on our sun and it's within the same 24 hour period that that craft or that orb or whatever this is that then makes that U-turn away from the sun actually takes place. So this isn't a bunch of different clips put together. This is taking place within about a 24 to 36 hour period, making the entire situation as a whole very odd. The beam, the explosion from the sun and then what seems like an orb approaching the sun and then immediately making that U-turn and launching back off into space. I don't know about you, my friends, but this is one of the more unique clips I have had the privilege to edit and analyze. I'm sure it's going to be all over the internet, if not already. There are many people that watch these sun cams on a daily basis and specifically look for these types of anomalies, but to see some of the biggest names in the game not knowing what's going on here makes it even more intriguing. I know this was a short video, but I hope you got enough information out of it to at least be interested enough to wanting to know for yourselves more about what this could be. I will gladly look more into this and try to get more detail from other sun cams to see if other satellites had caught this. And I'm certainly going to reach out to the people that I know who know way more about this stuff than I do to get their opinion. Not to mention, I want to hear your opinions down below, thoughts and concerns, of course. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Shout out to Canada and you know I will see you in the next one. One. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.